Well, good morning, good morning to the intercessors of the nations this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Truly, the Lord has been good to us. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. It's a beautiful morning in Trinidad and Tobago, and I am Apostle Anna Edwards, and I'm going to be praying with you all week long, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Special thanks to all of the intercessors that rise early at the break of dawn to unite with me in prayer for the nations of the world. It's a new day, it's a new week, and it's a new month, family of God. It's the month of November, and today I'm going to be praying new blessings over your life. I'm going to be asking God to open new doors. I'm going to be asking God for divine recompense for your life, favorable outcomes, and supernatural favor in all that you do this month. Glory to God. I want you to pray with me for the next one hour. You are going to be blessed. Your faith is going to be increased. And your spirit is going to rise up on eagle's wings. Because prayer births miracles. Hallelujah. This morning I'm going to open our prayer room from Psalms number 1. Psalms number 1. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Hallelujah. Let's look to the Lord in prayer this morning. Let's begin to thank God for waking us up this morning. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we come before your presence this morning. We come this morning through the precious blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. We come this morning bowing ourselves before your throne, recognizing that you are God and besides you there is none. From the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And so we say thank you this morning, Lord. Thank you for waking us up at the rising of dawn to pray. Thank you for putting the breath of life in our bodies this morning. Thank you for giving us a heart to pray, a mind to serve you, and a spirit to work the works of God while it is yet day. We say thank you. We say thank you this morning because you have chosen us and it is not we that have chosen you, but you chose us before the foundations of the world. You chose us and you wrote our names in the Lamb's book of life. And so today, Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you that we were not destroyed 
during the night while we were sleeping, while we were resting. A tsunami did not come and take us away. A hurricane did not come and blow us out of oblivion. My God, we say thank you, God, that we were protected. Your mighty warring angels encamped all around our homes, encamped all around our houses of prayer. You watched over us while we slept. You watched over our children. You watched over our sons and daughters, our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews were protected. Lord, this morning we say thank you. We say thank you this morning for your supernatural hand of protection. How could we say Oh God, that we are the ones protecting ourselves. How could we say it is because of the security officers? How could we say it is because of the earthly man? No, my Lord, it is because of the hand of the Lord that is watching over even the security officers. It is because of the hand of Adonai that is watching over even the hand of the police officers. You said the watchman watcheth in vain if the Lord does not watch the city. And so, my God, I say thank you. Thank you, my Lord, that we are not watchmen watching in vain, but we are watching under the shadow of the Almighty. We are watchmen that are watching, but we are hidden in the cleft of the rock. We are God's watchmen. We are watchmen in the army of Yahweh. We are watchmen nestled in the bellies of God. We are watchmen surrounded by armies of mighty warring angels. We are the watchmen of the heavenly host of God. God, we are kingdom watchmen this morning. And so mighty God, we say thank you. Thank you that your eyes are upon the righteous and you were watching over us all through the night, all through the past week, all through the past month of October. You were watching over us. Your hand of protection covered us. Your hand of protection shielded us. Your hand of protection shielded our families. Our mothers were protected. Our fathers were protected. Our grandparents were protected. Our aunties and our uncles were protected. All because the hand of Adonai watched over us. And so we say thank you this morning. Lord, we say thank you, God, because you have caused us to enter into the final two months of the 2019 year. And so as we entered into the month of November, Lord, mighty God, I am praying that you would bring to completion all projects that we have started. All projects that we have started at the beginning of this 2019 year. I'm praying God for a divine closure. I'm praying God for supernatural blessings. I'm praying God that you would release divine favor to us. That we would be able to enter in to 2020 fully charged, fully loaded. With our minds secured, with our hearts locked on you in a spirit of obedience. Even as we have entered into the year 5780. And we are coming into the beginning, the commencement of our 100 days of prayer. Let our minds be focused. Let our heart be focused. Let our spirit be ready. Let our souls be purged and purified. Let us walk in the spirit of obedience, my God. That we will be able to accomplish the work that you have set out before us we will, we will be able to accomplish the assignment we will be able to start our 100 days of prayer in high spirits with a spirit of obedience with a mind to work and with a mind to rebuild the walls my God for you have called us to work the work and to wield the sword against the enemy and so we are doing it God in the spirit of the fear of the Lord and in the spirit of obedience Mighty God, in this month, God, I'm asking you, Lord, to release the spirit of obedience unto your people, that they will be able to walk in the fullness of your blessings. Because it is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by your spirit. And it is in the spirit of obedience that we are able to walk in the pathway of blessing. John 14, 23 tells us, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and will come unto him, and make his abode with him. 
And so, Lord, you said in your word, if a man loves you, he will keep your words. And so, God, I pray for the spirit of obedience to be released over the nations of the world. That men and women will begin to love you once again. They will love you with a righteous love. They will love you with a purified heart. They will love you with a mind, oh God, that is purified and sanctified. Men and women will love you, not for what they can only get from your hand, but they will love your presence. We will love your presence. We will love to come and kneel between the porch and the altars. We will love to be in your throne room. We will be honored to cast our crowns upon the glassy seas and to join with the 24 elders and the four beasts around the throne. We will love your presence. We will love your voice. We will love your instructions. We will love whatever you tell us to do. Mighty God, we bow between the porch and the altars in the spirit of obedience. Understand that if we love you, we must love your words. We must keep your commandments. Help us to keep your commandments. Help us to be keepers of your word. Help us to be covenant keepers, my God. We do not just want to be up observing religious practices and not keeping your words or keeping your commandments. Oh, but mighty God, we want to be covenant keepers. We want to be obedient in heart. We want to be sons and daughters that walk in the pathway of righteousness, that walk in the spirit of obedience. We want to be blessed, oh God, in obedience. We want to enjoy our blessings, not with a guilty conscience, not with a conscience that torments us when we lie down at night. We do not want to be tormented by the blessing. We do not want to be tormented because of favorable results, because of wrong ways of going about it. But we want to enjoy our blessings in the spirit of obedience. We want to enjoy our blessings in the spirit of righteousness. We want to lie down at night with a peace of mind, with a peace of heart, knowing that we receive the blessings by the right way, by the right pathway. It was granted unto us. Just as you said, if we love you, we will keep your words. Help us to be covenant keepers to be keepers of your word, to walk uprightly in your presence, to do what you have instructed us to do. We do not want to gain the whole world, my God, and lose our souls. For God, there are so many in the world today, in the Christian music industry, in the church of the end times, in the clergy of this hour. There are so many, God, that are gaining the whole world and their soul is in corruption. Their soul is bound by chains and by heavy yokes. Their soul is bound by manipulation, domination and intimidation. Oh my God. Oh, let that spirit be far from us. We do not want to be like that one, my God, to gain the world and lose our souls. But we want to first find you. We want to first embrace your word. We want to first embrace your presence. We want to first be seekers of truth and seekers of righteousness. And then all things shall be added. According to Mark, Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And all things shall be added unto you. All things will be added, my God. You said if we seek you first, all things will be added. All things concerning us, concerning life and godliness. All things, all blessings, all doors, all favorable, favorable outcomes will be added. Everything that is needed for our lives lives for our children for our grandchildren for our houses of prayer will be added when we seek you first and so mighty God I thank you that the anointing of obedience comes upon us I release the spirit of obedience upon the intercessors the watchmen the seers the pastors the ministers today let the spirit of obedience be released this morning for we desire more than anything else to seek you first according to Matthew 6 and 33 let us walk in the spirit of seekers seeking the truth of God seeking the righteousness of God seeking your face in all things my God we walk in the pathways of righteousness to be called sons and daughters of Yahweh 
Lord, you said in your word in Deuteronomy 28 and 11, it shall come to pass if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, that the Lord will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. Oh, hallelujah. What a promise to the children of Israel. What a promise to the righteous this morning. You said if we listen hearkenly if we hearken diligently to the voice of Yahweh Lord give us a heart to listen to hearken to truth to hearken to your word to listen to your word and to not run ahead of the Holy Spirit give us a, a heart my Lord give us the ears of the righteousness of God give us the mind of Christ to discern truth from error right from wrong give us the heart oh God to diligently listen to you to listen to your voice in all things my God because this is the criteria to be set on high to be set above all the nations of the world mighty God it is the righteousness of God it is the righteousness of your sons and daughters that we hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord and so I pray that you will open our ears to righteousness open our ears to hear the voice of the Lord. Close down the ears from itching words, itching ears. Let itching air syndrome be removed right now. Let itching air syndrome be dismantled off of intercessors right now. Those that are running to and fro, still looking for a word, still not understanding who they are in Christ, still looking for confirmations from men. Lord, let itching air syndrome be uprooted out of their hearts and dismantled this morning by Holy Ghost and fire in the name of Jesus for you are a God who is well able to supply all our needs according to riches in glory. We do not have to wait on, on someone to prophesy or speak it over our life. We can turn to your word and every promise in your word is for us. We are partakers of your promises. We are heirs and joint heirs seated in heavenly places with Yeshua, our Lord and Savior. According to Philippians 4, Four and 19 and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus all needs are supplied I speak it over your life today all your needs shall be supplied your God who is your father will never see you in need of anything and not make a way to supply it your God my God will supply all our needs all our needs will be supplied according to his riches and glory hallelujah glory to God all our needs my God has promised to supply he will make a way where there seems to be no way new blessings will come new favor will come new doors of opportunities will come favorable results will come all because my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory you do not have to be worried you do not have to be afraid you do not have to look at economic situations for our blessings blessings are not maneuvered by the economy. Our blessings are not decide, decided by what the world's economic system is going through. We are governed by the kingdom economy. We live under the kingdom economy. We understand and we operate under the kingdom economy. We are kingdom sons and daughters walking in the new economy. We are governed by the new economy. And so the blessing of the Lord overtakes us. The blessing of the Lord overtakes overrides every need that we have the blessing of the Lord overrides every lack every limitation it's pushed back this morning because of the blessing of the Lord because of the promises of Philippians 4 and 19 and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory 
Oh, hallelujah. And so, mighty God, we do not need to be persuaded by men that you will supply our needs. We do not be persuaded by any false uh, words and false prophecies and false givings and heavy yokes and heavy burdens that men place around the necks of men and women. We do not need to be yoked uh, anymore, oh God, because we are free and whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Oh, mighty God, we understand the promises of God. We understand understand the way that your kingdom operates. We understand that we are to obey your word. We are to be seekers of your word. We are to bring our offerings into the house of the Lord and bring ye all the tithes into the house of the Lord that there may be meat in your house. And your word says that you will rebuke the devourer for our name's sake. You will rebuke the devourer. You will rebuke the caterpillars and the canker worms. You will rebuke the pestilence that eats away at our provisions all because of Malachi 3 and 10 your word has given us every promise that is needful and necessary for life and godliness and so there is now no need to go running to and fro looking for any word from any man but Lord we can look to the word of God in Philippians 4 and 19 and my God shall supply all your needs all your needs shall be supplied according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. I will bring all my tithes into the Lord's house and let there be meat in your house and I know you will rebuke the devourer. You will rebuke devourers of my family. You will rebuke the devourers in my kitchen gardens. You will rebuke the devourers out of my ministries. You will rebuke the devourers out of our prayer, li our prayer lives. Every devourer in our health you will rebuke it my God. God all because you are a covenant keeper and you promise to supply all our needs according to your riches and glory and so according to Malachi 3 and 10 I thank you for rebuking the devourer I thank you for rebuking every devourer mighty God and bringing us into the season of restoration I prophesy over your life the greatest season of restoration comes upon you today according to Joel 2 and 25 and 26 I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the crawling locust the caterpillar the canker worm and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and you will praise the name of the Lord your God hallelujah Thank you for restoration. Thank you for restoring my God. We have entered into the month of divine restoration. Supernatural recompense comes to you. A supernatural restoration comes upon your life today. You're about to receive restoration in your homes. Restoration with your loved ones. Restoration in your prayer life. Supernatural restoration comes upon your life today. All because it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous my God we have entered into the month of blessing we have entered into the new month the month of new blessings the month of new favor the month of new increase I prophesy over your life this is your month of open doors you're about to walk into open doors doors that were shut are about to be open doors of divine favor doors of divine blessings doors of supernatural increase doors of divine provision comes your way I speak that over your life today new levels comes to you new levels somebody's changing levels in the realms of the spirit this month your prayer life goes to another level your ministry life goes to another level your life of worship goes to another level someone's changing levels today all because the angels are here the angels of new blessings are here the angels of the Lord are here and I just release them over the nations this morning to begin to pour out the new blessings buckets of blessings are pouring showers of blessings are bursting over the saints of the righteous the clouds of blessings are bursting over your homes this morning just receive the blessings of the Lord for the week ahead 
New blessings comes to you today. New perfumes, oh God. The Lord says new perfumes. Many of you are going to begin to smell a sweet fragrance. You will not understand it, but the Lord says watch and see because it is the fragrances of heaven. New fragrance comes upon you. New perfumes, frankincense and myrrh and rose of Sharon. All the beautiful fragrances of the biblical times. The Lord says new fragrances. Watch for the new fragrances. Watch for the sweet perfumes of God. For the Lord is doing a work in the earth. And it's marvelous. James 1 and 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above. And it comes down from the Father of lights. And so this morning... Good and perfect gifts are being released to you. I just speak good and perfect gifts over your life today. Good and perfect gifts are being poured out over the saints of God. Good and perfect gifts are being poured out into your houses of prayer. Good and perfect gifts. Gifts that are without blemish. Gifts that have no attachments to us, to it. Gifts that have no yoke of sin to it. Gifts that have no uh, wrong concepts, wrong ideas, manipulation, domination, intimidation. Gifts that will not cause you to have to submit and be subservient to the gift giver. God, when he gives gifts, we do not have to be subservient. We do not have to yoke ourselves to the giver of the gift. But all we have to do is receive it by faith and say, thank you, Lord. Perfect gifts. Perfect gifts are being released today. Gifts without blemish. Gifts without compromise. Gifts without giving you um, nightmares at night. Gifts without having causing you to look over your shoulders to wonder if the person is coming back. If the person will say something. Gifts without manipulation. Gifts without making you compromise your destiny and integrity. Perfect gifts are coming today. For every good and perfect gift comes from above. And it comes down from the Father of light. And so I just release perfect gifts over your life. Perfect gifts comes into your life this week. Perfect gifts comes into your life this month. Watch and see what the Lord will do. It's perfect gifts. It's gifts of righteousness. It's gifts of the Spirit. It's gifts of, uh, from above. It's gifts that will be um, translated into the natural that men and women will see. And they will know and they will praise the name of the Lord with you. Perfect gifts comes to you today. Just receive the perfect gifts of the, from the Lord. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Oh, glory to God. Mighty God, we just receive those perfect gifts right now. We receive right now. We just begin to receive the good and the perfect gifts that are released to us in this new month of November. We just receive it right now. We receive perfect gifts even into our hundred days of prayer, even as we go into times of intercessions and prayer. We just receive perfect gifts. We receive the perfect gifts from the mountain of the Lord this morning. Perfect gifts are pouring down over the righteous this morning. We just receive those gifts right now. Even now as I'm looking, I look into the realms of the Spirit. And as I look into the Spirit, I'm seeing the Lord saying new wardrobes. New wardrobes are being released. Many of you, you're going to begin to dress a different way. And the Lord says, it is my doing and it is marvelous. Your dress code is going to begin to change. You're going to come into a season of dressing as a, as a righteous daughter, as daughters of Esther, daughter, as Esthers in the earth. The Lord says, watch for the new wardrobes that I will put into your spirit. Just begin to receive. The Lord says, I am bringing you into a season of decorum and queenship. I am bringing you into a new season where when you leave your home, uh, people of the world will not have to wonder if you are a child of God because you will not look like the world. You will look like the queen, the queen of Sheba. That anointing comes upon your lives this morning. Angels are anointing your wardrobes. For the Lord says many of you have to put aside 
uh, the worldly clothing now. And everything has its place and time. We know that. And so everything has its place and its time. But when you are coming to the Lord's house, the Lord said, I will anoint a new wardrobe for you that you will look well, you will dress well, and that Esther's anointing will be upon your life. And many people will marvel at the transformation, but the Lord says, if you just receive, if you receive this grace this morning, there will be songs of rejoicing in heaven and on the earth when people see you and they see the transformation. They will say, look what the Lord has done. Just begin to receive that anointing upon your wardrobe. Many of you are going to be shining. You're going to be shining with the glory of God because of the Queen of Sheba's anointing. That anointing comes upon your life this morning. The Queen of Sheba anointing comes upon your life. You're going to be loaded with the blessings. You're going to be dancing in the blessing. You're going to be running in the blessing. Oh, hallelujah. You're going to be skipping in the blessing. You're going to be praying in the blessing. You're going to be living in the blessing. You're going to be driving in the blessing. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I just speak the blessing over your life. Let that anointing come upon your life this morning to walk in the Esther's anointing. Walk in the Esther's anointing today. You're just walking in that anointing. It's the grace. It's a grace. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. It's a supernatural grace. You will look good, your hair will look good, your nails will look good, your face will look good. My God, it's like a supernatural transformation, says the Lord. It's the Esther's transformation. It's the anointing of Esther that comes upon your life today. Just receive it. Just as Esther was purified for close to one year in, in perfumes and in oils and she had to be transformed to become the queen that she she was of her day the lord says a transformation is going to happen to you that when others see they are going to be amazed at the transformation you're coming into a season of new blessings and the blessing begins on you the lord says to tell you this is a personal blessing a personal blessing is not for anyone else that you have been praying for. Yes, their blessings are going to come for the families. But the Lord says, I am beginning with you. I am beginning with you. I am starting with you. It's a personal blessing. It is a personal blessing just for you. You, the intercessor. You, the watchman. You, the gatekeeper. You, the pastor. You, who are the minister you who are the prophet of god the lord says i am giving you a personal blessing this personal blessing will transform your life this is the way i bless my children in the earth says the lord this is the way i bless my obedient sons and daughters i have every good and perfect gift laid up for you I do not desire to withhold anything from you, but my desire is to bless you in abundance. My desire is to give you everything for life and for godliness. I desire that you will have life and that you will have life more abundantly. I'm giving you a personal blessing that you can lay down at night and hold it. You can see it. You can take comfort in my word to know that I am a promise keeper and I am well able to deliver that which I said I will deliver. And so I just want you to receive that this morning. Just receive that Queen Esther's anointing. Receive the multiple streams of income over your life. Receive that blessing. Receive the new shoes that comes upon your life. It's new shoes, spiritual shoes. It comes upon your life today. Just receive the new rams. I hear the Lord say new angels are coming. Just begin to receive the blessing of new angels. For you will need new angels to walk with you in this season. New angels. New angels walks with you and talks with you in this season. The Lord says when the angels begin to speak with you, you will know. Because it is a higher level of wisdom. And you yourself 
will be very pleased at the decisions that you will make in this new month. You yourself will be amazed at how you are making better decisions. Your decisions are going to be of a better quality. Your decisions are going to be um, filled with righteousness that pleases the Lord. The, the mistakes you made in the last month or even the last two months, the Lord says you will no longer make such, such silly mistakes. The Lord says, I am giving you a greater wisdom. You will not make wrong moves. You will not make carnal decisions. You will not judge according to the seeing of your eyes or the hearing of your ears. But these new angels are going to cause you to make wise decisions. As a child of Adonai, as daughters of the king, you will begin to make wise decisions. Good decisions. And so I just release those new angels over the nations this morning to walk with you and to talk with you as you walk in the spirit you will hear the angels telling you walk this way you will hear the voice of the angels behind your right ear saying go this way stand up here don't go no further wait on the lord get up and pray new angels is released to you this morning i just released those angels over the realms of the spirit new angels you will make wise decisions you will make favorable decisions and you will get good results you will you will have righteous results and that is how you will know that the decisions you have made are god's decisions because favorable outcomes will come favorable decisions brings favorable outcomes favorable decisions brings favorable outcomes you will have sweet sleep at night you will not be tossing and turning you will not have conviction in your spirit because of wrong decisions and wrong moves you will make good decisions and you will have great results you will get divine recompense you will have new doors opening for you and you will embrace new blessings all because of the new angels causing you to make quality decisions this month i just speak that over your life favor in every area of your life i release favor in every area of your life i prophesy favor if over your family dinners favor over your over everything that you do in your homes favor over your meetings in your offices in your prayer rooms uh, in your communities, wherever you go, your children will have favor. Your children that are looking for jobs will have favor. They will find jobs this month. New jobs comes to your sons and daughters this month. New contracts, new opportunities, new blessings, new partnerships. Favor, and there will be no hidden deception or manipulation attached to it. Favor, favor comes to you today. Favor on everything that you do. The Lord says favor, favor, favor in your ministries. Favor in your houses of prayer. Favor in your thanksgiving. Favor, favor favor in everything you do every house of prayer thanksgiving and anniversary that you have favor comes to your life today you will be favored in your goings you will be favored in your comings you will be favored in everything that you do when you go to the marketplace it's favor when you go to the supermarkets it's favor when you go to have meetings with suppliers it's favor you will have favor destiny helpers will rise up and favor you god will bring you new destiny helpers god will favor you when god favors you no man gets the glory god will favor you it's the favor of the lord it will run you down the lord will move you from the pit to the palace favor comes upon you the queen of sheba anointing brings you into supernatural favor favor in everything that you do you will meet the king this month you will come into a supernatural encounter with the king my god the king will be manifested in your life this month you will have a favorable meeting with the king the king in heaven and the kings on the earth you will find favor with the kings on the earth said the lord supernatural favor favor comes upon your life this month like never before said the lord psalms 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not lack i shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures 
He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Divine restoration comes upon your life today. As this great favor comes upon you, it will bring restoration to your soul. Restoration will come to your family. It's a supernatural restoration. You will be satisfied. You will be thankful. And you will praise the name of your God. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that sends out its roots by the streams. Deuteronomy 11 and 26. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing once you obey the commands of the Lord. Glory to God. Psalm 67 and 7. May God bless us still so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. Genesis 27, verse 28 and 29. May God give you heaven's dew and earth's richness an abundance of grain and new wine. May the nations serve you and bow down to you. And then they will know that I am the Lord thy God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm bringing you into a close. I seal all of these prayers with the precious blood of Yeshua the Messiah and I call it done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. What a beautiful time of prayer this morning. Praise the name of Yahweh. I'm going to bring you into a close as I play our closing song this morning. May you be blessed this morning. Yeah.
Well, saints of God, this is Apostle Anna Edwards saying thank you for praying with me today. What a beautiful, beautiful time in the presence of the Lord. Your weather forecast for today is showers of blessings. Expect showers of blessings to burst over your life this week. The Lord bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful, joyful, prayerful day. And remember, keep rising on eagle's wings. Shalom. Mm -hmm.